Hey guys, welcome back to Groovy Post. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to open up Device Manager seven different ways in Windows 11. Now, there are very easy ways to do it and very hard ways to do it, but I'm just going to get to the gist of it. What is Device Manager? And Device Manager is basically just a system that allows you to manage your hardware's devices. It allows you to also update drivers, troubleshoot hardware issues, as well as enable or disable devices. But let's say I wanted to know what my graphics card was. Well, if I click on display adapters right here, and then click on the arrow, it shows me what my graphics card is. It's an NVIDIA RTX 3060. But if I wanted to update my drivers to my graphics card, what I can do is right click, and it will tell me update driver. I want to update my driver, so I'll click on that. But you'll also see I can disable the device, uninstall the device, as well as also see my properties, or scan for hardware changes. Now, most of this isn't a big issue, but disable device and uninstall device can be a big issue because this is your graphics card, or my graphics card. So be careful when going about device manager and installing, uninstalling, enabling, and disabling devices. It can damage your computer if you don't know what you're doing. So again, be careful. Now, when it comes to opening Device Manager, there's many ways you can do that. The first way is hitting your Start Menu key and typing in Device Manager. If I can type it in. Okay, Device Manager. Now you can hit Enter or left click, and there you go. It opens it up. That's probably the simplest, easiest way to do it. Another way is using the Quick Access method. To do that, you hit Windows key X, and it'll open up Quick Access. Then you just click on Device Manager. There it is. Now, the third way is using run in Windows. That's Windows key plus R. And then just type this in. And then once you have it in, just click OK. And it'll open up Device Manager. Now, the fourth way is just using Control Panel. To do that, you hit Windows key, type in Control Panel, hit Enter or left click. And we'll see, we'll get all of these things right here in front of us. You may even get something like this. This is usually what shows. If it's like this, you just wanna go by the view by and click on category and change it to large icons, small icons. I usually just do large icons. It's the fastest way to get to device manager through the control panel. Right here, we see we have device manager. Go ahead and click on that and boom, it opens up. Perfect. Now the fifth way is launching it through settings. Now, a lot of people have settings on their taskbar and also hit the start menu and type in settings like this. This is one way to do it, but really, if I'm just wanting to get to settings in general, I hit Windows key plus I. That just opens it up immediately. So hopefully that saves you more time when you're just trying to open up your settings on a Windows device. In the find a settings search bar, what I'm gonna type in is obviously device manager. Then I'm gonna click on device manager and then device manager opens. The sixth way to do it is opening it through file explorer. Now, a quick way to open up File Explorer is hitting Windows key plus E. Again, you could click on your Start menu, then type in File Explorer, or it may even be on your taskbar, but again, I think this will save you the most time. Hit Windows key E. There it is, it's open. Then I'm gonna go to this PC. Then I'm gonna type in DEV MG, ah, MG MT, Oh look, it's already there. So I'll just click on it. And there you go, it opened through File Explorer. Now the seventh way is opening it through PowerShell. Now to open up PowerShell, just tap on your Start menu, then type in PowerShell. If I can type in PowerShell. There we go, Windows PowerShell. Once you have Windows PowerShell open, what you do is you type in the same thing, DEV, mgmt.msc. Then I'm gonna hit the enter. Boom. And that's how you open Device Manager, guys, through multiple different ways in Windows 11. I hope this video was very helpful for you. Hopefully you also learned some quick shortcut keys on how to open up your file explorer as well as your settings. If you guys found this video super helpful, like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.